Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel and oh my god why is it so hot look at the temperature today I don't know if you can see it 32 degrees it feels like it's 36 outside in Vancouver it's never really happens we have no air conditioning in the house my room is literally a sweatshop right now I have a giant thing of water and I am ready to watch Supergirl this has to be one of if not my most requested movie ever on the channel which is funny because it's Supergirl and I've heard Supergirl is a very bad movie but because I've seen all of the Superman films I've seen all four I saw Superman Returns and then I saw the Richard Donner cut so because I've seen all of them people kept going you have to see Supergirl as well you have to see Supergirl. It's, I think they said it's one of the first or if not first female-led superhero film. That's my dog. Let me just get the door. Come on. So I'm excited to watch Supergirl because I've heard it is the first or one of the first superhero films that is the protagonist is a woman, which is really, really exciting to me. So I'm excited to check it out. I'm hoping it's not going to be as bad as Superman 4 because I don't think anything can be as bad as Superman 4, but I could stand corrected. This could be as bad as Superman 4. I don't know how bad this is supposed to be. I just know that Chris Stuckman, if any of you are aware of Chris Stuckman, he's a YouTuber. He, he reviews movies. He did a hilariosity review on this movie like five years ago, which means it must be a bad movie if he did a review like that. So I'm expecting a bad movie, but I don't know the level of bad news movie I'm about to watch. Also, I might actually start dying because it is actually like a sauna in my room right now. As I said, it feels like it's 36 degrees outside. It's actually 32 degrees outside. My house does not have air conditioning because it's never this hot in Vancouver. Oh my gosh, like I'm, I'm, I've been sitting in my room for about 10 seconds and I'm already sweating beans right now. Like I'm actually dying. <laughs> so hopefully this review, hopefully I don't die during this reaction. And before we get into this reaction, let me do the lighting or at least let me set the mood and then we can get into this reaction. Boop. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so if I had to do the light lighting today, I would go blue because I would. I just think this movie suits blue more than red. And if you'd like to check out more of my reactions, you can head over to my Patreon. I have uncut reactions to many of the movies I watch on YouTube, as well as early access reactions to my movies that come out one week early. There are also two exclusive Patreon movies a month that you guys on Patreon get to choose. So thank you so, so much. If you check it out now, let's get back to the video. Okay, hopefully I don't sweat so much that the, an ocean starts forming under my chair, but you may see that my shirt is up a little bit during this reaction because it's so hot in here. I'm going to stop talking about the heat because I don't want to suffocate. I hope my dog lives. I don't know why she decided to come into my room. It seems like a very dumb decision, but you know, hopefully she doesn't die. I might have to kick her out if it gets too hot in here. But yeah, I'm excited for Supergirl. The heat aside, let's get into it. I hope you enjoy my reaction to Supergirl. Faye Dunaway. It's a pretty cool name. Helen Slater. She's Supergirl, I think, right? I'm not gonna lie, the music kinda slaps, though. Saltar. When was this movie made? This movie was made... This, I, I said that like as if someone asked me a question and I'm responding to their question. This movie was made between uh, Superman 3 and 4, right? Oh, Jerry Goldsmith to score. That's why the music slaps. Okay, I'm excited. Oh, this is really, really cool. Where are we? Are we on Krypton? Who knows? The electron wave functions. Doesn't really look like the Krypton that we saw in Superman, though. Too much of a good thing here. Perhaps I'll try Saturn instead. Yes, I think I might. Why would you try Saturn? It's literally just gas. Is that further away than Earth? Silly question. Did you not study six dimensional geometry? Yeah, honestly, idiot. Great power sources. This is one of them. Look. Inner space. Interesting. Fancy shadow of the real thing, which is the most we can hope for on this lonely old rock. Kara! So they've never seen a real tree. I'm excited for them to see a real tree. That's why I'm going to Venus. Venus? When? And she's like, why? She either made life or made a robot. There's only two options. Where's the orb going? It just has a mind of its own. <laughs> I think this is what a baby feels like when a mom's giving birth. <laughs> Can you imagine? I don't, I don't want to go. 
Why are their walls so flimsy? Like, come on, it looks like a black void of death outside and you have just saran wrap as the walls? Through that, the binary shoot in the travel. They haven't explained what inner space it was, did they? Like, I'm very confused about what inner space is. What's she doing? What is happening? Where is she going? The movie has not explained anything. What's happening? Guys, if you didn't want anyone to go in this, why was there no guards? How did she just walk up to it and go in? A baby could have done this. Your suffering will be short. Mine... Forever. This man just, it felt like he really wanted to go. It's like on his bucket list or something. How long have we been together? Ooh, months, darling. And why does it seem like years? Oh, that's not very good then. Immortality be upon this one. Ma hey, what's going on? I've just outgrown you, Nigel. These <laughs> things happen. Sorry, Nigel. Why did she just start chanting to it? Like, like did it just... Tell her to chant or something? What? Run out on me, Selena. I've got the keys. And the president sweetheart. confirmed reports that Superman. I don't need the keys. Go, Supergirl, but how did she get that? It would have been funny if she tried to eat it. <laughs> so she didn't have these powers when she was in inner space, right? So is there just like a feeling, like an intuition that she can do these now? Or has she had them all along? <laughs> Why did she decide to do that? But I wish that she had some struggle flying at the start because she wasn't able to fly and obviously it was a surprise because she was like oh you know so obviously she's never been able to do it before but now it just seems like she's been able to do it her whole life yes 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 they're actually mediocre flying effects in these like these are actually decent flying effects thank you supergirl thank you camera's actually moving with the character, instead of the character just moving in the screen, moving at different speeds and stuff like that. And if you start your own coven, all you have to do is charge five bucks a head minimal admission. That's great. <laughs> I was wondering if they're witches or not. Imagine seeing that as you're driving this lady. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Man's best friend, huh? No. His cousin. I've come here to search for the old- Oh, you're Superman's cousin? I'm a secret mission also. We're out looking for a good time. And you just won the brass. You're gonna have the worst time. You're gonna get punched in the face and I hope that you fly into Jupiter by how hard you get punched. Why are you doing this? It's just the way we are. That was a weird line. You really want to play games, I swear. You're really gonna go after this girl now that she has laser vision? She's just gonna laser your head off. My secret was blue and red, and it knew how to fly. I have a secret too, Nigel. When did Nigel see Supergirl? I have the power. Get that through your head. I have the power! What's that? What's that, He Man? Mmm, this is scrumptious. Why don't we go somewhere else and dance cheek to cheek? Oh, oh. Oh my god. She's getting. Oh my god, she's getting humiliated. What am I trying to say? She's getting humiliated and poisoned by the scorpion at the same time. I'm warning you, Selena. Don't be so short sighted. I'm not short sighted, I'm near sighted. And you would have known that if you cared about me. <laughs> She did find the ball, what do you mean? The ball was in there. Don't even think about it, lady. Whoa, that's cool. Whoa, that's cool. Whoa, that's cool. Scraping the bottom of the barrel these days. Calm down. Hang in there, Danvers. Don't let him get to you. <laughs> It's gonna be me as a teacher. Talk to you, principal. I am 
mercy now. So are they, them. Nigel works here. She really just wrote herself a letter of recommendation, but she doesn't even know what one's supposed to look like. Oh, no, sir, I won't. One way or another, we're all alone on this miserable little planet. <laughs> Computing. All at once. And chemistry. Idle hands are the devil's. A and W vending machine, what the heck? Oh, hi. I'm Lucy Lane. Lucy Lee? This is Linda Lane. Lucy. The. <laughs> I love this. Daily Planet, of course. Linda's cousin works there. And your sister. What? What's her name? The one that. No way. Lois Lane? Lois Lane? No way. No way. What are the odds? Oh, by the way, she's an orphan. But don't. Why. Why would you say that? That. Okay. Why would they fall in love, though? Because then she is like. She's Clark's relative. She's Lois's relative. They fall in love. What if these two fall in love? I'd be down. Do I know? Does my sister know him? Now that's the big question. <laughs> All the real dementals are sent here. <laughs> so, when's the rest? You guys like my look, my heat look. It's nice to see Christopher Reeve, even if it's just a picture. They'll jump off cliffs for love. They'll drown themselves like lemming. I don't think I would jump off a cliff for love. Well, what? That we're near danger? I don't know. How do I know? You need to just randomly chant to it when you found it. Thought maybe it spoke to you. Chinese family, average age of death, average age of marriage, average age of pregnancy. Use this equation to compute. Oh, that tracks. Okay, that tracks the orb. Hey, Myra, see if you can put Lane out for good. Why? He's working on the tree, so he could be around for Supergirl used to do something about these bullies, like, I don't know, throw them onto the moon. That was really cool. That was actually really cool. Her, like, focusing her hearing. One, two, three. Those are the areas it could be in. I have a feeling she's not going to see the orb from 10,000 feet in the sky. Two shells of a nut. It didn't rhyme. I thought it was going to rhyme. You rang. Hey, you! <laughs> she really turned out to be dramatic and he just was not there. You rang. Oh, hey, you! <laughs> yeah. How you doing? How you doing? No, how you doing? You must be very popular in the neighborhood. I always see your truck parked around. Red flags everywhere, dude. Get out. Single status in my personal life. Cheers. Bottoms up, huh? Bottoms up. What the heck? He opened his mouth like a snake. Like an anaconda. Mm. I, uh, I noticed you got a pretty alkaline looking soil out there. He's yelling. Dude, she's right there. She's just right next to you. Drown in my eyes and be all mine. So she wants to rule the world, but she's not really made any moves to ruling the world so far. The devil do you want? I want to make a very serious proposal. In that outfit. <laughs> True. Go on, guy, make your escape. I'd stop bothering people, put a bag over my head, and go live under a bridge. Ouch! <laughs> wow. That was probably the meanest scene someone has ever said. Day tops, right? He was too young for you anyway, you know? No, I do not know. Where is he? Why don't you go outside and look for him? Oh, how come we could ever see him in it? That was magic. <laughs> it's stuck. You're not worthy anymore. You can't pick it up. Can you not see? Is he walking blind? I told her to take him to every set. Clean him out. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah, hey, I love this guy. His folks are out of town. And the guy with the bow tie? That's Jimmy. So you she said that with so much love. Jimmy. So I thought he was just gonna get like teleported or something, but it turns out she took control of a bulldozer looking thing 
to take him back to her. Well, maybe you wanted a convertible. Now you got one. It already was a convertible, I guess. Okay. The spell is the first person that he sees he's gonna be in love with for a day. The man can definitely see because he can see this. He's definitely seeing people running around him, yet he's not falling in love with them. I like that Lucy's trying to help as she ran towards the danger. Good job, Lucy. She really is like a uh, Lois Lane. Might as well drive into the marriage while you're at it, you know, ruin someone's day. <laughs> wow, she has a weak head. There's so much happening right now. This is crazy. And also, Jerry Goldsmith is actually going ham on the score. Let's go, Supergirl. Let's see what you can do. Ice water free. That's a good place to start. Yeah, he's going to see Supergirl and fall in love with Supergirl. I love the costume changes, they're pretty smooth. You're gonna be alright. There's no broken bones. I think even if I wasn't on a potion though, I'd probably still be falling in love, so I don't blame him. What did he say? Look like I love you to me. <laughs> so blunt and straightforward. She's just letting it happen. Where is she? R. Oh god, that's Whoa. awful. Yeah, that sounded horrible. The magic in this movie is very strange. I'd like to think also that these two ladies are secretly in love with each other. Or maybe very openly in love with each other. Who knows? How do you beat a shadow with sunlight? <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you guys, I have definitely done that in the mirror before as well. It's like a little invisible tornado. Yeah, the transition! Where's the wimp? Not the A&W vending machine. Okay, well... In real life, the lightning would be gone because she just touched the ground. That's kinda sick though, what the heck? Oh, I love old lightning effects, that looks so cool. Skull, and into your tiny brain, Bianca, the girl can fly. She's literally like a witch Lex Luthor. They're, they're kind of ripping off the Superman characters here, and instead of like making like very unique, like own characters, I guess, like unique individual characters, they're making characters for this movie that are very much a reflection of the Superman characters. Serious. Come to mama. Like this is literally Lex Luthor and Otis. You know, fools rush in and angels fear to dread. I am no angel. Yeah, so you're a fool. Who's behind her, Nigel? Or oh, the love. Yes, the love, oh my god, he's got flowers. Lovely Linda Lee. These roses pale beside thee. <laughs> you know what? He's a poet. Say my name aloud but once and I shall die the happy fool. Look. <gasps> Say it. <laughs> yes, he's dead. No, that's funny. I knew the beating of his broken heart. I don't think I could ever Are date someone crazy? who talks like this. Like, literally get out of town. Marry me. Why is she even thinking about this? No. She kind of agreeing to marry him there. I hope not. Are trespassing on private property. She means him. <laughs> wow, you teleported him. Crazy. This lady's improving by leaps and bounds. I gotta tell you. Yeah, she really is, isn't she? Imagine dying from bumper cars. What a sad death. 
Now the real question is, can you tell that this is the same girl? Now watch this be their love fl their love flight. Well, I am really upset. That was a very menacing. She could have chosen better wording for that. Where is she taking him? Just take him home. Ethan! Flying coconut. Never. That ought to keep her out of your hair for a few hours. What the heck? Mm, to me. I don't really understand her motivation in this movie, I'll be honest with you. At the start, she's like, I can't wait to own the world. And now she just wants to own this boy. So weird. That's not weird at all. You're sure of that? Oops, oh, no, I'm she was... sorry. That's no, you. Now he won't be in love. See you later, I promise. I've just got to get back to the amusement park. Amusement park? Linda! You still love Linda? I gotta find Linda. She was in trouble. Aw, he still cares about her, at least. Yes. Ben Steel Bars? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Is she gonna turn evil? Is he gonna turn evil? Is a monster gonna appear? What's happening? Don't make me get rough, okay? You wouldn't stand a chance. Please. The camera is zooming into a kiss cam. No. There we go. What did I say? What am I saying? It was a kiss cam. But he doesn't think this is Linda, so now you're cheating on Linda. You said you loved her. Unless he. Yeah, there we go. Okay, never mind. All has been forgiven, Ethan. What is it? What? Lucy? It just appeared? It looks like a castle. It's more like a fortress. Fortress of unsolitude. Ethan! What the heck? That's the cleanest glass. Oh, never mind. She got trapped in glass. Enjoy your prison, Supergirl. Forever and ever. Honestly, this man is not worth it. The fight. Like, there are definitely better people out there. More attractive people out there, probably. Oh my god, she's in the, uh, Phantom Zone. That's cool. Oh, will she, will she meet, uh, what's-his-face there? Because he's going to the Phantom Zone. He said it all dramatically at the start of the movie. You can't fly anymore, loser. Is she back in inner space, then? Then how'd she get out of the Phantom Zone? I'm confused. Visuals look really cool though. This movie didn't skimp around on budget. Like, this budget is pretty big. And I really appreciate that. Oh, I just ruined your whole outfit. At least get out of the muck before you fall asleep. She's How do they know about Selena? I'm so confused. Linda, my roommate! She disappeared the day that mountain showed up! The wimp! I love how they refer to Supergirl as the wimp. Yeah, it is him, it is him. Saltar! Why wouldn't he say something? Why would he do a really creepy move like that? Oh, wow. Zone. They are in the Phantom Zone. Kind of cool that we're in here. The old dangling in a cage routine. Pathetic, <laughs> Selena. You said it, Nigel. There's always a way out. If there's a way in, there's a way out. That's true. No, it wouldn't work. You'd be swept into a singularity if it didn't work. No. It's worth it. It's worth it. Sure, you won't have a squirt. Once you get used to it, I think it's delicious. Once you lose all your taste buds, you mean. We could die trying. We won't. We won't. I've read the script. We won't die. <laughs> In the army. By Saturday, we have the continental United States, Mexico, Wow. Canada. After getting the boy, her plans have really escalated. Also, how does Selena know about the Phantom Zone? I'm confused. Ah, that looks really cool. 
She's with some old guy. Ethan just eating. Like, <laughs> like he's just watching a movie. I love it. It's the escape. It's the escape. Why didn't Zod just do this then to escape the Phantom Zone? It's like Zaltar's going to be going to the altar. <laughs> That's bad, I'm sorry. Summoning the demon storm. You don't have to keep saying what the spells are, just just do the spells. I am with you! Yeah, obviously. What do you think he's gonna <laughs> Come with me? He's like, I'm right here, you idiot. Of course. Zaltar! I'm confused if he let himself die or if it was just like he just came at that time. Stand up. Oh, that actually was an epic shot. Like, I'm, I'm, that was actually really cool. Hey, no! Ooh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Get wrecked, son. Supergirl, you can fly. You can fly, just hover. Why doesn't she just do that to Supergirl? Why does she have to hit- Why is she making Supergirl go through an obstacle course? Just- just shoot her. Like, it's kinda epic. But she can just fly. Fly, Supergirl. Use your laser vision. Do something. Use any of your powers right now. Destroy her! That was hit so half-heartedly. Destroy her. He's always there, Supergirl. I like the music. I like the music. I like the music kicking in. <laughs> oh, <God. Yeah. laughs> that was weird. Why she gets super small? Can, is she Ant Man? Not, not the other lady too. She was pretty innocent, I'd say. <laughs> that was awesome. I'm glad this guy has a girlfriend. I always thought he was a little short-changed in the Superman movies. Wow, that was some kiss. <laughs> Your kiss made the mountain disappear. So, so the. Inner space, you just gotta go through a lake and boom. Inner space. Yeah, and that is Supergirl. Let's go, baby. What a strange movie. I liked it and I didn't like it. Well, I liked it and I thought it was very weird. That's how I'm gonna put it. And that was my incredibly stuffy and hot and sweaty reaction to Supergirl, the 1984 Supergirl superhero sci-fi action film starring Helen Slater, Fat... Faye Dunaway, Peter O'Toole, Hart Boschner, Bachner, Boschner, and Mark McClure. Oh my gosh, so I'm recording this one. I've started recording my reaction, my actual movie reaction, at about 2.30 p.m. And it is now 8.11 p.m. at night, and it is nice, cool, 29 degrees Celsius, or feels like at least outside 33 degrees Celsius, so it is still boiling. Like, I have been in my room for about five minutes now preparing to record this, and I've already started sweating again, but luckily, I have my towel here, so if I start sweating too much, I, <laughs> it's so gross. You guys don't need to know about this. It's just like actually a sauna in my room because my house has no air conditioning because Vancouver doesn't ever get this hot, and I'm going to stop ranting and get into this movie. Supergirl was a very interesting movie for me because on one hand, I actually enjoyed myself while watching this movie, and if it wasn't for the heat, I think I would have liked this movie a lot more. I think it, the heat in my room has just was just making me want the movie to end so I could go downstairs to where it was a little bit cooler. But there was there were a lot of moments in this movie that I really enjoyed. And I think that the biggest thing about this movie that I disliked was the script. And I think the script is the reason why this movie is so bad because 
the production was pretty good. The production design, I thought, was pretty interesting. Maybe not as grand as the first two Superman movies, but definitely on par with Superman 3 and definitely above Superman 4. I thought the score of this film was great. I thought Jerry Goldsmith did an excellent job with the Supergirl theme, and he must have known... Actually, I don't even know. I was going to say he must have known this was going to be a bad movie, but maybe he didn't. Maybe he's like, this is going to be a good movie. I'm going to make a great score because his score was so good. There were moments where he was going absolutely ham with those instruments with that orchestra, and I just loved it so much. There are some really fun shots in this movie. I thought some of the effects were really good. The flying effects were way better than Superman 4, and I thought they were on par with Superman 3. Um, they moved the camera around and stuff like that. I'll talk about the effects later, but I thought the effects were really good. There was a one shot in particular that I really 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 loved of Supergirl standing up right right as she's about to leave the phantom zone she stands up the lights shining on her and she's silhouetted and she puts her hand on her hips just an epic shot like an epic epic shot and I know if I, if I was a girl growing up in 1984 and I saw that I know I would definitely have felt invigorated you know I would have felt represented at that moment because it was it was a really cool moment but besides those things the script and the story made absolutely zero sense and it really dragged the movie down to being a bad movie because everything else surrounding the script I thought was good I thought it lived up to at least Superman 3 I thought maybe it was even a little better than Superman 3 in terms of the production quality and stuff but the actual movie the actual script was definitely almost as bad as Superman 4 I don't think it was as bad I think I personally thought it was better than Superman 4 I enjoyed myself watching that even though Superman 4 is half an hour shorter I enjoyed myself watching Supergirl a lot more than Superman 4. However, the script was almost as bad, if not just as bad, as Superman 4. It was terrible. They never explain anything. Character motivations make absolutely no sense for a movie that is about women, that's supposed to be about female empowerment and stuff like that. The main focus of the movie is about getting a guy, and it just really, it just like overturns itself with that one simple thing. It's like, oh yeah, it's like basically like at the start of the movie, they're like, oh yeah, we don't need these guys and stuff, and then literally Selena's like, I'm going to rule the world, and then she sees this guy, she's like, but first I'm gonna get this guy, and then the whole plot centered around this one man, it just, it's so, it's so strange, just things don't really make sense, things don't add up, characters show up, and then they don't show up, motivations are so scattered, oh, sorry about that loud noise, I have my window open to try and keep it a little cooler in here, but it might let out some of the outside noise, I don't know, someone's like banging on a lightning drum or something like that, it's, it's super loud outside right now. But anyways, yeah, there were moments that I enjoyed, but the script definitely let this down. I'll go into more detail in a second, but first, let's talk about the reviews of this movie very quickly, because I think you all know what the reviews are going to be, and then we're going to get into Jerry Goldsmith's score, which was excellent, and then the things that made no sense, and the things that I really liked. So 4.4 out of 10 on, on IMDb, which is audience scores, and 9% on Rotten Tomatoes, which is critic scores. So literally, audiences obviously like this a lot more than critics, because if audiences like this as much as critics, then they'd have a 0.9 out of 10 on IMDb, which would be the, probably the lowest rated movie of all time. But yeah, I can see why people hate this movie, to be honest with you. Like, I can see, for the, for the most part, this movie has a lot of flaws. In terms of story and characters, this movie has flaws every five seconds. You would, you'll watch this and go, this doesn't make any sense, this doesn't make any sense, this doesn't make any sense. But I think people maybe are being a little too harsh on it. I wouldn't I wouldn't put it as a great movie or anything. I I still think this is a pretty bad movie and maybe even a terrible movie. But 9% feels too harsh to me. I think I'd probably be going more like a 30% because 30% seems fairly reasonable. It it's about the enjoyment that I had with this movie. Like 30% of this movie I thought was really good. 30% of this movie I thought was fantastic, but the rest of the movie I thought was a big letdown or just downright terrible. Okay, so let's get into Jerry Goldsmith's score, which is part of that 30% that I really enjoyed. His score was so much fun. It didn't obviously live up to John Williams' Superman score because I don't honestly, I don't think any superhero score is going to live up to that after I listened to that score a bunch of times in the movies and I've listened to it on my own time and stuff. That score is so heroic. That score is so beautiful. It's very, it's very much Superman. And the Supergirl theme song was very cool. It was very heroic. It was very empowering, but it didn't have the same catchiness that John Williams has had. But that's not saying, I'm not trying to diss 
Jerry Goldsmiths or anything. It's just kind of cool to compare the two scores because you got Supergirl and Superman. But I'm not trying to diss Jerry Goldsmith or anything. He did a fantastic job. The the part of the score that I remember the most is when there's that weird like what is it like the claw thing? I totally forget. It's like the bulldozer, but it's not a bulldozer, and it's carrying it's carrying Ethan, and it's like so much chaos happening. Like cars are hitting into each other. There's a tire rolling around. A gas station's about to blow up. Everything is happening. And Jerry Goldsmith, I can I'm just imagining him at the orchestra, just going because there's so many things happening in the orchestra there's so many instruments playing it's like it was felt very messy but very clean at the same time because obviously the sequence was very chaotic and so the orchestra felt very chaotic it was very loud is very brash but it didn't kind of overstay its welcome and it was it was just really fun i thought the score for this movie in general was just really fun and it made the movie so much better it made me like the action sequences so much more because the score was so energetic so props to you jerry goldsmith for making me like this movie way more than maybe most people did. Yeah, the script. Let's get into the script. The script was a very bad. The script was one of the worst scripts I've seen on this channel. Maybe not as bad as Superman 4, but pretty close. The movie doesn't really explain much to you. It doesn't explain, for example, how Selena knows about the Phantom Zone, which doesn't really make any sense to me. It doesn't explain what inner space is at all when Supergirl is leaving inner space on that ball thing. It doesn't really explain what the ball thing is, and, and I guess that doesn't really have to tell you what the ball that she's in is. But at the same time, it doesn't really explain why the ball is just left there out in the open. There's just a bunch of really dumb things that happen in this movie that happen because characters need to do them. Like uh, when Supergirl gets to Earth, for example, she just has her powers. She doesn't have powers in inner space. Keep this in mind. This is the first time she's ever had her powers and she is just like a natural at it. You know, she doesn't need any practice with these powers whatsoever. It's just boom. She has these powers, and like I understand that maybe maybe they it's just like an intuition thing because I remember in Superman two like General Zod and stuff like that they they just get powers like instantly, but even then they're still like oh my god I have these powers and stuff they still say like oh my god I have these powers oh we can fly oh we're like Jesus and stuff like that but they are in control of the power so I guess I'll give this movie a little bit of slack but she was never really surprised the only moment of surprise she got when she had these powers for the first time was when she started to hover off the ground and she just went oh. And then she just started to fly like she'd flown every day of her whole life, you know what I mean? So I wish that there was like an actual progression of her learning of powers, like surprise that she could break the rock, surprise that she could use the lasers, like, oh, I have laser vision, like, or it wasn't just like, mm, oh, yeah, I know I have laser vision, like, of course I have laser vision, you know what I mean? That's what the, it felt like, like, of course I can fly, I know how to fly, instead of, oh, I can fly, how do I fly? Like, the movie didn't ask those questions, the movie just assumed that Supergirl knew how to do it, even though, obviously, she wouldn't have, it just, that part didn't make any sense to me, and there are a bunch of moments like that in the movie, that was one of the moments that stood out the most. Yeah, I just, and then, like, just Selena and stuff, she made no sense, her character motivation actually made zero sense. Uh, but before I get into Selena, I just had to close my window because remember when I was talking about the guy with the drums? It wasn't actually drums. It was actually thunder because I was I was like, it sounds like lightning. It sounds like thunder. It was actually thunder. I had to close my window because it has now started to hail outside. So what a crazy, wacky day we live in. But anyways, let's get back to Selena. Selena, Selena, she made no sense. Sensa. She made no sense. She, her motivation was so off the charts. The script didn't know what she wanted. The script kept going back and forth between I want to rule the world. I want to rule this boy. I want to rule the world. I want to rule this boy. It's like, make up your mind, Selena, make up your mind. And then she gets so focused on wanting this boy, but then she keeps saying that she wants to rule the world. And I'm like, Selena, you can literally rule the world without this man. Why are you investing so much time into this guy, into Ethan? He's not even worth the trouble. Just go and find some other bloke out there who sells plants or something and is jacked, you know? Like, I'm sure you won't tell the difference. But yeah, he, uh, or she, she just made no sense to me. Like, I, her motivations were just so all over the place. Her being a witch, her magic, when she gets the orb and she just starts chanting and it works for the first time. It's just like, why did you just start chanting for no reason it's just so many things that in this movie didn't make any sense but the things that didn't make sense to me were the set designs and i really like supergirl's costume too i'm not gonna lie i really like supergirl's costume i like that it wasn't overly sexualized i because i know in a lot of movies especially today and if you watch the boys you know this that <laughs> then there's not a, this on the boys the boys 
make fun of this in their own show is that a lot of the superheroes, a lot of the female superheroes just boom, like their, their boobs are just out, you know? So it was very interesting and very nice to see that Supergirl, for the most part, was in like an actual costume, like what an actual Supergirl would probably wear for the most part. Like obviously maybe they wear armor, but Superman doesn't wear armor as well. She's basically in the female equivalent of Superman's outfit. And I really enjoyed that. They didn't overly sexualize it or anything. Like yes, maybe the skirt was a little bit too short or something like that, but I don't really care about that. Like I thought her costume was great. I thought it was awesome. I thought it looked really good. It didn't look cheap in my opinion. It looked really fun. The sets in this movie as well, I thought were pretty 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 good i didn't think again that they were as elaborate or as detailed as them sets in Superman 1 and 2, but I thought they were on par with Superman 3, which is really impressive. I, it felt like this movie had a decent budget, which was really nice to see because I feel like at the time a female superhero movie would be a huge risk, and so for me at least, I, I would have a hard time seeing an investor invest a lot of money in 1984 into a female-led superhero movie if it's never really been tested before and you don't really know if audiences are going to go for it. And this movie felt like it had a pretty big budget, which is again really nice to see because Obviously, there was some confidence in this, and I really, I really appreciate that, and I really appreciated seeing this money on screen. And you can see that again with the effects. They didn't do these cheap, dumb effects like they did in Superman 4, where they just used the same shot of Superman flying at the screen about 11 times in the film. But in Supergirl, they actually tracked Supergirl where she was moving at the same time as the camera. So if the camera tilted to the left, Supergirl would tilt to the left. If the camera did a flip, Supergirl's doing a flip, you know? And it made everything more interactive. And yes, it didn't look as good as Superman or Superman 2, but actually, there were definitely moments where it looked better than some of the moments in Superman 2 with Zod and crew when they flew, because some of that looked really bad. I thought the effects, especially Supergirl's flying effects, I thought, for the most part, they were actually really, really good. I thought there were some very janky effects in here, don't get me wrong. I thought a lot of the magic stuff, like the wand stuff, the just boom, the teleportation stuff, I thought was really janky and stuff like that. When she's in the ball traveling through space, it's very obviously a green screen. But the flying sequences, I thought were great. You could really tell that she was moving super fast, especially when she's racing towards the mountain at the end and the cities flying under her and the village and stuff, just having these little buildings as speed markers almost was a very good indication on how fast she was going. And again, the camera movements matched with Supergirl's movements, making it seem a lot more realistic and seamless and stuff like that. And also the costume changes, a lot of costume changes in this movie between Supergirl outfit and regular outfit. And I really liked it. My favorite one was when she walked through the four trees and there were four different outfits that she slowly transformed into the girl, the school girl version of herself. Really enjoyed that about her, really enjoyed that part of the movie. And yeah, again, there were moments of this movie that I actually really enjoyed. The script of this movie just really let it down. Okay, and I'm just gonna talk about Helen Slater as Supergirl because everyone else in this movie I thought were actually not very good. Like, I, I don't think anyone else did a particularly good job at acting in this film. I thought maybe, like, Ethan was kind of fun, but at the same time, I thought he was so bland, and I didn't actually think he was a good actor or anything. It's just fun when he was super poetic and stuff like that. Zaltar, I didn't really care about. He died, and I was like, whatever. Selena, I thought she was one of the worst villains I've ever seen, so I'm just going to talk about Helen Slater as Kara, aka Supergirl. I really liked her as Supergirl, I'm gonna be honest. There was a charm about her, there was a sweet charm about her that I really liked, but she was also a fighter, which I really, really enjoyed. She wasn't just like laid back, let do it. And I was very worried at the end of the movie that Ethan was gonna be the one to save Kara from the monster because then it would be like the man's saving Kara and it's like the the man savior and stuff like that you know what I mean and I'm like no Kara needs to get out of this herself because then this movie can have some form of argument that it is about this female empowerment sort of thing that uh, that the women can do something as good and better than men can you know if a man had saved it it would just would have ruined the whole movie even though the movie was pretty ruined to begin with. I'm glad Kara got out. I really like Helen Slater as Supergirl. I kind of wish she had more movies and I kind of wish she had a better movie as well because for the most part, I thought maybe some of her acting was a little wooden here or there, but I did find her very charming at times and I did find her very, very likable, which was very good because this is the first time you're introducing her to this character. And yeah, I just, I really enjoyed her at the as the role and I had a lot of fun watching her as Supergirl. And yeah, that is my reaction to the 1984 film 
Supergirl. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to these wonderful, beautiful, amazing people right here for supporting me and supporting my channel. It really does mean a lot and that is the end of all my Superman reactions. I don't think I'll be watching any of the TV shows because I just don't have time for TV shows at the moment unfortunately. So yeah, I think that is the end of all my Superman content which is really sad because I really enjoyed this Superman verse. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time for my next movie reaction.